Hi, welcome to Neighborhood Gamecast. My name is Kyle. This is Jared. Hey. And we just wanted to talk a bit about the mammoth amount of Nintendo news that came out today. Uh, we had a Nintendo Direct live stream at 6 a.m., which I got up for and listened to like an idiot, um, but a super excited idiot at that. And uh, because yesterday the news came out that Iwata was going to give a press conference on upcoming software and Wii U titles that they were developing. And for the 3DS. For the Wii U. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And he starts off this conference not talking about Wii U titles. It's 6 a.m., I'm really tired. And finally he jumps into, like, okay, like, I've talked about Miiverse and, like, the updates that we're going to have for 15 minutes. So now we'll jump into Wii U titles. And um, some pretty, pretty big, day, pretty, Disappoint pretty big, everyone. big titles <laughs> came out. Uh, we know now that Mario Kart, Super Smash, and the new Mario that's going to be like a 3D successor, so like the new Galaxy. Is I think they call it Galaxy 3D. Yeah? I don't think he called it Galaxy 3D. Oh, I thought it was. Um, who knows? Uh, is going to be shown and playable. Two of I think two of them are going to be playable at E3. Mario Kart and Mario, Mario Kart, Kart and the Mario game. Not Super Smash. And not Super Smash. Weirdly, yeah, Super Smash. Just we know like it's, about that game for years, but right, Mario. but it seems like it's taking a while. Yeah. Um, and uh, we also have the new Fire Emblem crossover that uh, I don't know a lot about, but we, we Fire Emblem crossover. I do. I, I mean, maybe someone does, but I feel like it's a series that I think it's a lot like what happened with Pokemon, where I think it, people pretend like they know, but they really don't know what it's about. To like no one actually it. plays it, you mean? No, people play it, but they just they, they pretend like they really know what this second mm -hmm. series is, but obviously... Fire oh, Emblem. The one being crossed yeah, over with. Fire okay. Emblem is the big series. Right. This. And I feel like this, obviously. And this other series is going to enhance a kind of Pokemon. That's what they have Pokemon. And, right. it, and it worked for it, you know. Wait, which Pokemon are you talking Pokemon about? Pokemon Conquest. Oh, okay. Where yeah. they had other characters. And there's a kind of the. Right. The j history of Japan and some characters that were very anime like. And, and they, it worked out for the better because there was um, something different than the normal formula. Right. Um, and then we had. Some really puny announcements uh, about new Zelda titles that are coming out. Um, we know now that a Zelda HD for Wii U exists. Um, obviously, we knew that they were going to be working on something, but we actually had them say that we, were, you know, it helps to actually hear it for once. Nintendo does a lot of times just like leaving you in the dark and, oh, this is going to come out eventually, and like you assume it, but they don't actually, you know. I wrote a blog post today where I was saying that, like, it's one thing to know that you're going to get presents at Christmas, it's another thing to see them wrapped under the tree, you know? So, like, that's what that's what they did today. They showed us our wrapped presents that are probably two years away. But bigger than that, um, actually, on, on that one, he talks about how the two things they want to do are completely forgetting the linearity of Zelda. That's and, good. That's really good. Yeah, which I think is a very necessary thing to do. And the, um, possibly making it multiplayer. Or just rethinking how you play with yourself. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> rethinking how you play with yourself. Yeah. <laughs> with your Wii. <laughs> yeah, with your Wii and your you. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you think about that? I mean, honestly, the thing that's kind of ironic is the original Zelda's were kind of more open to allow you to do other dungeons first. And I think Ocarina and Majora's have their place, and even Wind Waker. Um, they did fine, but I believe they've done that narrative so many times, it would be a refresher to allow us once again to kind of explore dungeons, and especially we've never had a three-dimensional Zelda where you can just kind of explore it, and there are three dungeons that they say, choose one, and you can choose that one, and it will have no, maybe it'll be a little bit more difficult because you have the hook shot, but you can still beat it. It's yeah. still a beatable game, and that, that, that I think will be, um, I think it's a positive change for Zelda and, series. Yeah, definitely, and I, I think what's interesting is he talks about how, um, Onuma talked about how they started thinking this way with Skyward, but they couldn't escape the linearity part. And, like, Skyward is probably the most linear Zelda that there is. Um, even though you can still fly around and stuff. Well, the first like, couple hours are very linear, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, Wind Waker also, that they're remaking, is pretty linear. I mean, all of them are pretty linear ever since they've jumped well, into 3D. Well, to be fair, though, to Wind Waker, once you get past the Forsaken Fortress, they allow you... To go almost anywhere, I believe some of the areas are blocked. I mean, I'm talking about like the dungeon order. Yeah, yeah. yeah, which, yeah. Is, which Oh, is but there was one part where you could choose. Remember the fire and ice sub temples? They did this allow is why you to choose. Um, so, speaking of Wind Waker, we found out today 
out of nowhere, there's like been no talk of it that they're making an HD remake of the game. They finally listen to fans. That's that's my thing. A lot of people are, are excited about this thing. If they're willing to do it for Wind Waker, what else are they willing to do it for? However, I have a different take on it. I think that uh, Miyamoto got his remake of Ocarina of Time on 3DS, and uh, Onuma uh, was like, well, I'm the producer of this whole team now. I want my remade, and mine remade. And Wind Waker is like one of his gem, kind of, so I think that's kind of where that stemmed out of. And, and I go in the opposite camp. Well, I'm hoping that they... Here's the thing, if people remember, GameCube is probably, maybe, arguably, the w- w- worst-selling Nintendo system, kind of. I think the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo were at the top of the game. I guess maybe some people would argue N64, but I would say GameCube, probably sales-wise, was pretty much the weakest system. And there were some gems on there. We've talked about before, like Luigi's Mansion, that finally making a sequel to that. Um, so, in, in, in Sunshine, which I will argue is just as good in my opinion. I like it just as much as N60, the Mario 64. Um, and I think just these games, that they come back out again in HD form, they don't have to be as polished. I would be okay with just a kind of a, making them widescreen and a little bit of niceness. But let's just say Nintendo, because they love polishing things like this Wind Waker. If they make all the games like that, I think they'll resell all those games for $60, and I would pay for them. As long as and I like see it, they keep collection, you're saying? Yeah, the like GameCube, different ones. Um, I mean, we just had the Metroid collection, so I doubt that series would really come out, but that would be cool to have the Metroid series. Pikmin 1 and 2 in a small collection in HD, um, especially if Pikmin 3 sells. And Double Dash with online featurality, because it did originally have online. It was the that was the first attempt at really online was with I mean, uh, yeah, it'll be Double interesting Dash. to see what the, what the online functionality is with the new Mario Kart. And I, I think it will be pretty sophisticated, hopefully. If they don't do it with that, and they don't do it with Smash Brothers, then there just really isn't any hope. But you know, I, I made it in my excited like rant today at 6.30 in the morning, I'm commenting on all these stories um, on different websites and stuff, and I see one of them is like, I was just like, what was the argument against Wii U games? Well, looks like that's over with. And someone was like, come on, dude. Like, it's not, they announced some first party stuff with no third party support, and like, you see the argument is over? And like, I, I think the argument is over in the way of if you're looking for your Wii U to replace your PS4 or your Xbox 720 just stop trying for that to happen that's not going to happen like but that argument is over the, like, the, oh, the only thing is that and I, I think it's fine I, we, we talked about it on the phone today why I said I'm just not going to buy third party games on the Nintendo systems because there's no universal trophy or achievement system I understand some people are into that I'm one of the growing number of people that do care about a universal trophy system and I feel like Nintendo is honestly like you talked about you were about Batman if there was a universal Nintendo coin system I still something. will buy Batman Arkham City I would just do this buy it on PS3 it's got it's just the same edition but you get trophies and I, and I know some people don't get why that's a big deal for some people but it's just kind of fun to see your level go up to see how many trophies you played it kind of marks when and how you played games and I feel like I understand people don't into that but to me, I just feel like it's holding Nintendo back in, in a way of just having the system uh, feel connected. I know they're trying to do that for Miiverse, and that's really cool, because like, the virtual console stuff, how that's going to sup- supposedly you pay an extra dollar, and you'll be able to somehow have awkward... But trophies kind of connect you, whether you want to participate or not, is kind of yeah. like the thing. It's like every, everyone is getting a, a gamer score on Xbox, or like <laughs> leveling up on PS3, where yeah. on... Meverse, you have to actively participate. Yeah. Like, you could completely avoid Meverse altogether yeah. if you wanted to. And, and, and also, it would be cool because then we would compete in trophies. On the Wii. We can't do it on right. PS3 because I had a year start. But on Wii U, we would both have an equal chance of having the most Nintendo points. And that would be kind of it's fun for us to have some competition with I me would and win, you. But whatever. You um, probably would because you'd waste more money on it. Yeah, <laughs> probably. On third party games. Probably. Um, so, we've got. HD Zelda, we've got Wind Waker HD coming this fall, apparently. Um, Hopefully. Yeah, so it, let's actually talk about the game a little bit. We went around, uh, like, them, you know, what HD remakes they could do, but... It, it looks it looks beautiful. I wish there was a video, an actual, because I, I, they, they showed screens, and that's and I, I appreciate them showing something. Because they didn't have to show anything they could just talk about. I just wish they're kind of like a little 360 really quick, showing normal Wind Waker, and then kind of going on to the what it's going to look like. Would have been nice, but I'm assuming there'll be a full HD trailer um, at E3. And I, I, it's ironic, people have been talking about how kind of like 
this has been better than the last two E3s for Nintendo. This is one day specifically. Yeah. I mean, and this year is going to be good because they have Pokemon coming out. We have a Fire Emblem coming out on 3DS in two weeks or less. Um, Luigi's Mansion, all these other games. But anyway, uh, going on the Wind Waker, the one thing I said kind of told you about today is I hope that you can pick up weapons and maybe keep them for the rest of the dungeon because I always thought that was cool that you could pick up the weapons. But unfortunately, since when you jump, even jumping, you just drop the weapon automatically, I just, it would be kind of cool to put that in I, I don't remember exactly because it's been a while, but I remember there being like a reason for that, kind of. Like, it, it would have been too overpowered. Like, there's some places where you needed to drop the weapon and then... Well, that's, like, that's, no, I understand that, but I, I just feel like you could have, it would have been fun to keep it around until yeah. at least the boss. Like, yeah, if they, if they want to argue that it's too powerful for the boss, that's fine, even though... I mean, let's be fair, you have the Master Sword, which is supposedly the best sword, so why can't you have a spear? Uh, honestly, I just I hope something like that, because they did say they're going to implement some small new features, and I would think just carrying around that, maybe some, this is going to be nice too, the map, hopefully there'll be like a map feature with the version, even though you can't play it on the screen, I'm hoping that it will also be just be a normal integrated map system, because that just helps in Zelda. That's one thing I would make maps on those type of games. Like, Sky, like a Skyrim or something like that, Fallout yeah. would be nice to have. It's really simple, but I, I think something that would be really interesting is just, uh, they did, already did it kind of with uh, the Ocarina of Time on the 3DS, but just now that you have this even bigger screen in front of you, to be able to just completely remove the the heads-up display from the screen, so the screen oh, is just like cool. completely clean. Um, someone did a side-by-side -side, like comparison of... Um, or on top of one another pictures from the original game and the HD screens they did today. Although, like to be fair, like you said, we haven't seen it in motion. Yeah. Um, and they were saying, also someone did it with their with their dolphin emulator and showed that footage because they can run that in 1080p. And a lot of people were saying, like, I kind of wish that they hadn't made it brighter and like you know it's a little bit more like pastelly now than it is, than it was. It was a little bit richer on the GameCube. It's mm. looking like, but yeah. I. I don't know. I think it. I think once it we see it in motion, we're gonna completely forget that. And I mean, be like, this looks amazing. The the even the water effects, which it looked completely different. It looked like they're almost gonna replace the whole ocean to be even more lifelike. It just, man, that game. That game just ran <laughs> so smoothly. Like well, I just, I just have such. That's, that's one you, thing. You that's wanna, I hope it. I hope it runs as smoothly. It, it, that, 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 I guess smooth would be the word. I would say smooth. Uh, well, the frame rate was seamless. Styleful and just colorful. Those yeah, are just the words definitely. that explain that game look. And it's one of these things, like I was saying, like, GameCube just had so many gems that were so overlooking. And I'll admit, for me, Wind Waker I was excited about. But I was kind of disappointed with the outside. But now I appreciate that game anyway. I'm not going to say that. We were also uh, kids when we that came out. So. But yeah, that's ironic. We should have liked it more as kids. But for me... Now I appreciate it more just because the art style is so beautiful. And I still argue today that like Wind Waker looks better to me than Skyward did or Twilight. Just because of the art it style and how everything... I think pixel-wise it looks better. It doesn't... It, I don't know. But I think that also is the Wii. The Wii has some weird... Uh, you know it would be kind of funny? I don't know. But yeah. we're not dealing with that anymore. We're on the Wii U. Um, the only other feature I guess they could kind of add is especially if they want to test out more multiplayer features would be maybe somehow port some levels or some sort of four swords or even though it would be the same graphics but have four swords somehow in there to test that out if people want to yeah. play Zelda multiplayer and kind of um because they gave that for free actually on 3DS remember they gave out four swords for yes, free I do. so if they're really just okay with giving that kind of for free they should kind of either make a new adventure or port the GameCube version onto God great too on to that version because I mean to be fair Wind Waker though I would play 60 it would be nice to have some big new feature and it could be motion controls I'm thinking they'll probably make some kind of motion control thing or maybe, <laughs> maybe just the inclusion of the gamepad alone is like enough for them to yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that would be so good. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah I, we're running a little long here I feel like so we should probably wrap it up but uh, I think it's good for today but um, yeah until next time Thank you, Nintendo. I'm act I'm giving was, you props. Yeah, for today was well. a today was a good day. Believe it at that. Keep them coming. Go, Nintendo. Yeah.